what is all the buzz about bees? Bees make honey. Many different types of bees work together to build a hive. Bees are built for collecting honey. Special stomach, hollow tongue, stinger, enzymes. Forager bees collect pollen and nectar from flowers and bring it to the hive. House bees turn the pollen and nectar into honey. Worker bees also build the honeycomb structure. Worker bees work hard. They collect nectar, turn nectar into honey, build honeycombs, take care of eggs, take care of larvae, feed the queen, defend the hive, and much more. Bees dance to communicate. Drones help the queen make eggs. The queen can lay 1,500 eggs a day. Bees all work together and they work hard to make honey for themselves and for us. Bees have many important parts. Let's first start with the abdomen, the largest part of the bee. It is toward the back of the bee. It is where the stinger is located. The middle section or the medium sized section of the bee's body is called the thorax. The thorax are where the bee's legs are attached. Each bee has six legs. It also has four wings. The front part of the bee is the head. The head is where the bee's proboscis is found. That is the part that is used for drinking nectar. The bee also has antenna and eyes. There are two eyes that are large located toward the front of the head and there are three smaller eyes, compound eyes, located on the top of the head. Let's go back and talk about the bee's legs. The bee has three legs on the left side of its body and three legs on the right side of its body. On the hind leg of the bee are the pollen baskets. This is where the bees store the pollen before they take it back to their hive. Some of the pollen is used in the making of honey. Some of it is used for the bees to eat because it is high in protein. Bees are very important to people. Not only do they make the honey we enjoy but they are also important to other food supplies. Bees pollinate one-third of the flowering plants that make up our food supply. Without bees, we could only survive four years. In order to understand about pollination, you must first understand a little bit about the reproductive parts of a plant. The first whorl of a flowering plant is called the calyx. Each leaf on the calyx is called a sepal. They are usually green, but can be colored. These small green leaves nourish and protect the flower while it is still enclosed in a bud and has yet not developed into a full-fledged flower. The second whorl of a flowering plant is called the corolla. The petals are usually colorful. Together, the calyx and the corolla are called the perianth. The petals are often brightly colored with markings attractive to insects. They may also be scented to attract insects. The third whorl is made up of the filament and the anther. The filament and the anther together are called the stamen. The filament is a stalk-like structure that supports the anther. The anther is where the pollen is produced. It is the male part of the flower. The collective name for the stamen is the androsium. The fourth whorl of the flower is made up of the stigma, style, and ovary. The ovary is at the base of the flower. 
Inside the ovary are ovules. Ovules become the seeds and the ovary becomes the fruit. A tubular structure called the style extends upward from the ovary. On the top of the style is a surface receptive to pollen called the stigma. The collective name for the stigma, style, and ovary is the gynesium. It is the female part of the flower. A complete flower is a flower that has both the male part and the female part within one flower. Some flowers have only the male or only the female part, but the complete flower has both. What is pollination? Pollination is the transfer of pollen from the anther to the stigma of a plant. Bees are pollinators. However, bees do not pollinate all plants or flowers. There are things called pollinator syndromes. Pollinator syndromes describe the flower characteristic or traits that may appeal to a particular type of pollinator. Bees prefer bright white, yellow, blue, or ultraviolet flower colors. Bees also prefer flowers that have nectar guides. Bees prefer flowers that have a fresh, mild, or pleasant odor. Bees also prefer flowers that have nectar. The pollen on a flower that a bee is attracted to is limited, often sticky, and scented. The flower shape that a bee is attracted to is shallow with a landing platform or tubular because bees do not hover well. They need a place to land. Honey bee, honey bee, what do you see? By Candle Brewer, Terry Hooper, Patrika Renshin, and Lori Sweeten. Honey bee, honey bee, you can't see me. I supply H2O to make things grow. Honey bee, honey bee, what do you see? I see the stem growing tall and free. Honey bee, honey bee, what do you see? I see leaves waving in the breeze. Honey bee, honey bee, what do you see? I see the sea balls looking at me. Honey bee, honey bee, what do you see? I see the colorful petals dancing in the breeze. Honey bee, honey bee, what do you see? I see the filament and the and anther whose pollen will stick to me. Honey bee, honey bee, what can you see? I see the stigma, style, and ovary right in front of me. Honey bee, honey bee, what do you see? I see a complete flower looking at me. This is a graph to show collectively how many of each part of a flowering plant we saw in the book. And the questions that the students could answer about this graph. Share the buzz.